Here's a, just a quick overview of the use norm light LED control viewing light. The control viewing light comes as a standalone unit. Uh, it has several LED arrays inside of here, and those LED arrays can emulate a variety of light sources. Several of those light sources are built into the unit uh, when purchased. Uh, we're going to go through just a few options here and show you how easy it is to change the light source. Uh, first, this unit was in sleep mode, so I hit this button to turn it on. We're right now viewing the D50 light source. If I want to change, I just simply hit menu, choose light source, and now we can go to D65. And by hitting OK, we've now chosen to emulate D65 as a light source. Uh, another option that's in here is uh, TL84. By hitting OK now, now we are emulating TL84. Uh, these light sources, uh, per uh, earlier video, uh, can have UV or non-UV uh, options available. So if you want to see the UV spectrum, if you have optical brighteners in the product that you're trying to view, um, then you will see the effect of UV on those products. Additionally, uh, one other thing that we did want to bring up about this particular product is that by using the LED illuminance, you get up to 25,000 hours. Um, and this is something that is very unique uh, you don't have to go replacing these bulbs on a regular basis uh, and, uh, and this booth will last an extremely long time uh, to service your needs. That's just a brief overview of the LED control booth. This use Normlick booth um, is actually designed for color and appearance um, primarily the one that we have on display here. However, the use Normlick also makes one that is specifically designed for photography. The only difference between these booths is there's no difference in the light source or anything else. The only difference between the booths uh, is the actual enclosure around the, uh, around the image. So on the photography booths, you can actually lay an image on the back uh, and view it from the correct angle. In this particular booth, we've laid the image down flat, and we're going to do a few more demonstrations of this new technology with the LED light sources. Um, this happens to be D50 with UV. Um, we're going to switch now to D65, and that's D65 with UV. Um, other light sources that uh, can be accommodated, and you have a very wide gamut in this, uh, we have TL84, that's an example of TL84, uh, that's normal lighting in many Target stores and other retail operations. You can also go and you can custom select colors. I'm going to give you an example of this and then we're going to show you the software that operates this unit. Um, I'm going to pick a color within the gamut, in this case I'm going to a green. Uh, or I can also go over to a blue. I can go toward the orange or yellow spectrum. And, uh, and finally, we'll go back to D50. So that is the D50 light source with UV. Now we're going to show you the software. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the use digital lamp software that comes uh, separately from the LED color viewing light. This is an optional software. It comes in several variations. We're going to show you the premium version, uh, which allows for complete control over the LED color viewing light. Um, in the software on the left side of your panel, uh, you will see uh, the default settings that you can control. Uh, right now there is uh, turning the unit off, showing you D50 as a light source, D50 without UV, D65, T50, 
TL84 and D55. Now these are all just preset in the unit uh, in the software uh, initially. These can all be customized to meet your specific needs. Additionally, within the software, which we'll focus on in just a second, you can choose from within the gamut of the light booth any color within that spectrum. So now we're going to focus in on the software and we're going to show you some of the advanced features of this software. In the Use Digital Lamp software, uh, this premium version, you can actually, within the gamut, you can select various colors. Uh, we can go up into the, the area in green. Uh, we can go to the extended gamut over here, which will be in the yellow area. We can go down into a blue channel down in here. Um, and again, we can always switch back to any of the presets over here. Uh, you can also define your X and Y and, uh, and your luminance all over within the software, all over on the right side of the software. So uh, now we're going to go in and show you exactly what this advanced software can do. Um, here in the software you'll notice that we're set right now for D50. Um, it's very easy. All you need to do on the left side with the presets is just move right along. As soon as you click on that light, the LED light booth will change to that exact, uh, that exact lighting. Um, additionally, if you go, you'll notice that this represents this outline, which you may or may not be able to see, represents the entire gamut of the LED light booth. And anywhere within that gamut, you can choose a point and the light booth will reflect that. Additionally, um, you can set a timer so if you want to see how the light fluctuates uh, between two light sources, you can set, we can set a, a 30 second timer, a 60 second timer, or a 120 second timer. And then right now I'm on 3500 and if I click on the D50 Within 30 seconds now, you're going to actually see that this line will move, this dot will move uh, along this line and will actually change the light source over a 30 second period uh, between the 3500 and D50. This section here is where I change the timer. And then over here, this is where if you wish to specify an X and a Y coordinate, uh, you certainly can along with illumination uh, and whether or not you want UV or non-UV. Um, additional settings can be saved if you choose to save a custom light source uh, simply by dropping down in the settings tab to your XXX area and naming that the custom light source that you desire. Uh, as soon as you're done you can go ahead and click save and that light source will be saved for future reference uh, over on the left hand side. Uh, that pretty much completes our overview of the premium software along with the LED color viewing light booth.